North Korea tested a super EMP weapon that could potentially wipe out nearly the entire United U.S. population. So here's my question. How the hell do you know? Almost everything is designed to operate on 120 volts or less. You know, that personal, that computer sitting in front of you is probably operates on, on 25 volts. You know, it's, uh, it steps the power down from the, but the outlets in this, in this area put out 120 volts, okay? So things that are designed to operate on 120 volts almost certainly are not going to survive when you inject 50,000. 100,000, 200,000 volts at the speed of light into them. You know, uh, both the Department of Defense and the mm -hmm. last, the commission on which I served, we weren't just a paper commission. You know, we were about actually testing modern electronics to see were the electronics vulnerable. We knew they would be vulnerable, but one of the questions we wanted to know is are they getting more vulnerable? And, and they are. 